Hello and welcome to my video. So in this video, I'll be talking about my ceramics class. So at college, I took ceramics one my first year here, and I would say overall, it's a really great experience. If you ever go to Manchester Community College, I would definitely suggest taking ceramics one, um, and even going on to ceramics two if you like it too, because that, uh, that's what I'll be doing next semester, this upcoming semester. So basically, ceramics, the way it was, uh, uh, structured out is we had to do a hand-built project like slab projects, coil projects, uh, and pinch pots, and we had to do a wheel throwing project. So we started off on wheel throwing on the wheels when we had to do five bowls. And for me, this class was relatively easy because uh, I've done a lot of wheel throwing in the past, as you can see from my other previous videos of me wheel throwing and um, clay experience. So I started, I did my five bowls, my required five bowls, and then I made a bigger bowl that we use more clay, um, more complicated techniques, and I really liked that bowl, that the one you just saw me wheel throw. And while we were wheel throwing bowls, we had to make a slab project. For the slab project, it couldn't have a subject matter. It had to be abstract, which you'll see it later. I didn't end up recording any of it because uh, it was more of like a experimental project. I didn't really think it was going to go well at all. Uh, and I don't think it went terrible, uh, but you'll see it later, and I'll talk about it more. Uh, and here I'm just uh, wheel throwing a mug. And we had to do five mugs, five bowls throughout the year. And then what we did was after we were all done, we did a class like feedback session where we all displayed our bowls, all displayed our mugs, and then everyone walked around the class and we uh, looked at the mugs, gave them feedback, what they can improve on, and what they did really well. And then we also had to pull handles for the mugs too. I didn't show that here um, because it's a pretty boring process to be honest, but I did trim them up. I added a lot of texture to all these mugs. And I tried to go above and beyond inside this class because ceramics overall, uh, like I said earlier, it, it's a pretty easy class for me because I was it was the basics. It taught you the basics of ceramics and how to use the clay. And not saying I'm great, like amazing at ceramics, but I definitely knew most of the content that was taught because it was a very beginner course, uh, which made it easy on me for an easy course for me at least. But that allowed me to go above and beyond creatively. And I made extra textured mugs, I made, you know, more advanced techniques, and bigger sculptures. And so as you can see here, this is one of my hand-built projects. I did a giant elephant sculpture, and this project, we had to do a hand-built project. It was a, a historical project. We had, to do, we had to find a historical piece of ceramics that we were inspired by or that we liked, and we either had to do our own twist on the historical project, or we had to combine it with another historical uh, ceramics item. So basically, I went with the Kakimon elephants. I, I sculpted them solid, which took a while, but as I said, uh, I had the time because I had everything done basically by now, by, by then. So I made these elephant bodies, I made them solid, added a lot of detail, and then I cut them in half, and then you'll see me carving them out here. I had to uh, carve out all that clay that was inside of there. It took a really long time and it, it, it took a lot of clay too. I think I bought 50 pounds of clay because you have to buy your own clay for this class, which is another thing that I had to take into consideration because in high school, I didn't have to buy my own clay. Uh, but for this project, I thought it was worth it to use this much clay because I, I really liked the result anyways. I had to carve out the entire elephant and it took a while. So I got a lot of that clay back and I think I used like two bags. Out of the 50 pounds, I, I used a lot of clay because I made two elephants and they were pretty large. And then uh, after adding all the detail and sculpting this, I think this was the final hand-built project I had done. Another big project I did was my coil pot. Uh, for the coil pot, we had to make, I think it was 14 inches tall by 10 inches wide, which was really, it was a huge pot. It was a really big um, piece of pottery. And then we had to add like a feature or like an aesthetic to it to make it look like, you know, cool at least. You know, not just a normal like plain pot. We had to add something to make it look exciting. And so what I did was I sculpted, and I kind of had like an uh, animal theme throughout the ceramics. I don't know why, but I just went with a lot of animal sculptures, and it was a lot of fun. But I went with an octopus for my coil pot, and the octopus was like clanging on to the, the coil pot. And this is the finished result of the elephants too. And you'll see some pictures of the projects I did throughout the year. And then these are the bowls that I made on the wheel that were some of the bigger bowls. The glazes inside the ceramics room were actually pretty challenging to use because um, they were a different type of glaze than I was used to. Here, the glazes were I don't, very limited, but they also gave a, a varied result. Uh, so they, these bowls I was pretty proud of. And then this is the slab project I was talking about. It was It's a very abstract sculpture, and I went with a lot of uh, cube shapes and put them all together. And then this is the coil pot that I'm pretty proud of. It's a uh, octopus clanging onto the pot, and I wanted to make the pot look a little aged, so I put some 
barnacles onto the surface of the pot and I added some texture and this one was really fun but it also did take a lot of clay and a lot of patience and a lot of time but I really enjoyed this class ceramic one I did end up getting an A which is great uh, and it was a lot of fun so I would definitely suggest ceramics for anyone who wants to try it it's a lot of fun and I enjoyed this class a lot so thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one